happy Saturday. Okay, I am here to do my makeup finally. I'm just gonna switch my hair around. There we go. Okay, let's go in with spray foundation because I love this stuff. Um, I use the shade Taffeta. I spray it on my Kabuki brush. So just shake it, spray it. You don't need a ton. And then go ahead and start blending this gorgeousness in you are going to get a photo finish kind of skin tone with this like it just blurs all your pores it is amazing always 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 bring it down your neck okay you do not want it to be a noticeable line that you're wearing makeup like foundation it just doesn't look great right okay i'm gonna put on a little touch more just my skin is super, super dry and therefore is feeling a bit too red for me. So just going to do one other light coat like so. There we go. Oh, so what has everybody got planned for this Saturday night? I am going to my girlfriend's house. You know, we always like to dress up and just have fun. It's just what we do. Just got to move something out of the way. Okay, ooh, the lighting is weird. Right. I haven't done my makeup at this time in a while. The sun is just coming through. Sorry for the weird video. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go blind. All right, here we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this quick, guys, because... The lighting is super weird right now. And honestly, it doesn't take me very long to do my makeup. Anyways, let's go and do some contour. Okay, like so. And then like this. And why not? We'll do our nose. And along the jaw. I like to go down the neck. And then I like putting a little touch underneath like so. There we go. But then what I like to do is take a big kabuki brush, blend in this pressed powder in the shade Twill that we used as our contour. Contour just kind of creates shadows. So when you put on foundation, it makes your skin all like one shape, kind of dimension sort of thing. Um, and then by putting on contour, it gives your face uh, shape again. Okay, so I used my uh, 25 millimeter loud belt to do my hair today. Loving it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, that's the face part. Now we're gonna go in with some sisterly blush. As you guys know, it's one of my favorites. Okay. And I just pat it on like so. Blending big kabuki brush, I mean. And then we're gonna do our highlight. We're gonna do cream to powder first. I like to use my ring finger and just kind of lightly putting it on above our uh, cheekbone, okay? Highlighting there, making your cheekbones look more obvious. And then I like to go with a cream or a powder highlight on top of it, just to add that extra little bit because your girl likes that extra little bit. So this is the shade Iridescent, which is like a white. And you'll see, oh, it looks so good. Cupid's bow down along the nose, just a little bit there. Then go ahead with that big Kabuki brush again. And just make sure everything is blended the way you like. Now we're gonna go and do our, our eyebrows. I'm gonna do it with the eyebrow pencil today. I love this pencil, it's amazing. I get it in the shade Medium. And just kind of doing little brush strokes as you can see, and then going down along the eyebrow, filling in any kind of finished spots. And don't worry, it looks dark, okay? But I'm gonna go through it with a spoolie and it's going to lighten the color and make it all look blended in, okay? So that's what it looks like right now. Watch this magic. Take your spoolie. 
There we go. Look at how much better that looks. Oh, so good. I love a nice defined looking but natural brow. And that's on point. Okay, black eyeliner for our water lines. And because it's an evening thing, I am going to put it on my bottom waterline. So. Kind of give me that darker, smokier look. Okay. Perfect. And just kind of keep blinking and it will soften it all up. So don't worry that it looks like super dark right now. It will soften up, okay? And you know what? We're just going to go and use just really simple colors today. Um, just because, like I said, we have the uh, water lines both done. And I don't want to go too, too dark, but just dark enough. Does that make sense? All right. I haven't done my makeup in days. But it was a busy, busy week at work. Whew. All right, so we're gonna go with this shade, Pessimistic. And just go ahead and put this all over your eyelid. Okay, like so. And there we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, you know what? No, we're going to do it again. Okay, we're going to go with the shade Earthly, which is this really, really nice muted brown. It's super natural. And we're just going along our crease. Okay, and we're still just using the blending brush. Like, I like having different brushes when I'm going for very certain looks. But this is my favorite eye brush, is the blending brush. It works so well like so 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 well i love it now i am gonna go grab the liner shader brush to go and do as like an eyeliner with um this color just to really make it look even better okay so liner shader brush gonna get the liner oops i gotta get it off first there's a dark color on there first okay so just gonna go use the shade earthly and you're just putting it along like your top, really close to your eyelashes, okay? And, and, almost done. All right, here we go. And, here we go, almost done. And a little bit just underneath the lash line, okay? You know what? We're going to take that fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to build it up just a titch more, okay? So fluffy crease brush and really just swirl on the outside corner. I think I have a hair on there. Okay, but swirl on the outside corner. We're just slowly building up the depth of this color because it is a very nice, beautiful, neutral color. And we're actually gonna go with the shade Nimble. And I'm gonna build up that outer corner. Just a touch, as you can see. Nimble is still a nice neutral brown, but it is a bit of a darker shade. And then take your blending brush and just really blend this all in. Okay. Oh, this looks really good. Look at that. Ooh, fire. Okay. Super easy eye looks. I'm all about it. All right. So comb your eyelashes. Let's go with our twisted mascara. You know, it's one of my all time faves. I love it. Oh, and if you get it too low, you can just go like so. All right, so twisted mascara now. We're gonna do probably just two coats. Okay. There we go. 
Okay. Oh, my eye is twitching. Don't do that while I'm doing mascara. You can't twitch. Seriously. All right. There we go. So I get my kids back tomorrow. This is the first week of our uh, week on, week off. And I survived. I definitely spent some time with my friends. But I did spend some evenings alone and I survived. Um, it's going to get old really fast. I'm not going to lie. But... I was happy that I was able to do it and proud of myself. Okay, going in for coat number two here, guys. You need two coats of mascara. Trust me, it makes a huge difference. Okay? Just a huge difference. I love it. There's one eye done. And... Uh -huh. I'm laughing at the show. Here we go. There we go. And you know what? We're going to put a little bit on the bottom. All right. So I'm going to use that little brush. Precision brush. Uh-oh. Uh, right there. Okay, a uh, hottie lip plumper, yeah, you know your girl likes it. I love this stuff. All right, here we go. Look at the shine of this, oh, beautiful. And that's my natural lip color underneath. But look at the nice color it does. Okay, here we go, makeup is done for the evening. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask me, um, and I'm gonna go do my outfit of the evening. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.